Wrong one. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Hooray. Uh. Oh, I need to do. I'm trying to do that. Uh. Hello. Mordor Fortress. Um. I'm just gonna get right to it. I was down here working on some stuff. Uh. -oh. If you remember from last time. At the very end of last time, we discussed magma. Magma for purposes. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna see if this works, um, as it's gonna be entertaining no matter what happens, and that's kind of the thing, right? End goal here is. Fish friends have this pond and slowly draining this lake. We have so many fish people. So many fish people. I've been draining this lake for a while now, several years, I think. And it just it takes so long. We've gotten a lot closer. Um, but the fish are just slowly congregating into the deeper parts. Um, so there's like a couple of deep pools in here that I'm not draining and will be much harder to drain. I have to come in here and dig and drain all the way to the side and it has to come all from above and nightmare. We're not doing it. Plus it would take forever anyway. So instead of trying to drain all of the water and get rid of all of the fish people by hand, we're going to take some assistance from our natural elements, I guess. There's a cat. Um, so we're going to give them a little magma shower. Uh, because when you, when magma and water meet, you get obsidian. You, just, you get some rock. Some fancy rock, uh, but some rock nonetheless. And anything that was in the water, or in the magma for that matter, if you're doing it the other way around, anything that was in there, in that tile that now becomes obsidian, isn't a thing anymore. It, it becomes obsidian. Um, some people will refer to this as obsidian casting. But it's a pretty reliable way to kill mega beasts. I've seen people do. Forgotten Beasts this way. Um, so why not pitch genocide? Um, so that's, that's the end goal. I want magma here. So in order to do that, we are going to... Uh, all the way up here. Of course, it's a super high cavern. Um, but I'm going to put some magma here. This is going to be a reservoir for magma. And then these are going to be little channels. I'll have to channel these down. Or no, this right there. There'll be some holes in the ceiling here. We'll be co uh, controlling everything with levers and, and floodgates and stuff so we can turn flows on and off. Um, but once we can have a bunch of magma here, we can open up these gates. Magma will just fall down here and fall onto the fish people and their little pond and turn it into a lava flow. And the fish people will not be able to cope with that very well. The idea. Um, that's the that's the end goal. I've also got some little routes out here. There's like there's some fish over here, right? So we'll have the possibility of of putting magma over here, over here. Um, and if we need to, we can we can add to this and deliver magma to more locations. Um, Way over here, another small deep spot here. There may or may not be fish hiding in here. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna flood it with magma. Um, so, in order to get magma up here, currently we have magma down below in our second cave layer, uh, kind of the bottom of our second cave layer. This is the top of our first cave. Uh, so we're gonna be elevating some magma up. That's about 40 levels. Um, so here's the top side, 
then the bottom side is here the magma um, we'll have to do some some stuff in here to kind of deal with the holes in the cave um, but long story short I've designated a whole bunch of carvings or holes in the ground I guess M mining designations here and this will be where our pumps go going on oh wait um but yeah main thing for today hello how's it going we're working on elevating magma um i think where am i linked up to um door into our, our magma chambers um, but ultimately what's going to happen is we're going to make a, a bunch of pumps which are machines that can working on it huh. pumps are machines that can elevate liquid either water or magma from one level to another and each mo each one can do one level so it'll be like Basically, it's sitting on one level, and you put a pool of water in the level level below it, and have it like a channel. There's a hole there. The pump can take stuff from the level below below it, and then put it on its own level. Um, so that's what's going to be happening here. They're a little uh, elven diplomat, all right? Um, pumps take two tiles, so they will be taking these two middle tiles. They will have a hole right here. That's where magma will be below and then the pump will take it and pump it through these two tiles pump it in reservoir it'll be a little one by three reservoir and then you go up one level and now there's a hole above the reservoir and this pump will pump it into this reservoir and then you go up one level and there's a hole and this pump will pump into this reservoir and it just goes back and forth until you reach the top that's ultimately how a pump stack works um, all sorts of complicated factors like we need to make sure that everything we use to build our pump stack is made out of magma safe materials so that we don't melt things once we start pumping uh, ravens are reverting people are all fine um yeah, that's the main thing. Um, pumps can be powered by a dwarf just standing there, but you know, this is gonna be 40 pumps. So instead of having 40 dwarves stand there and pump things, we're going to power it with our power. So that they're already, already digging. Perfect, okay. Um, Power will come from here. So we're all we already have some, some water wheel power going uh, down here, and our water wheels are generating enough power. Look at ghost. We're generating enough power for our millstones. We're only using 400 of 1400 uh, for all of our linkages and axles in our millstones. Well, that's cool. Millstones consume power when they're not being used. We don't know that. It don't matter. We have plenty. Um, so I'm just going to build an axle that comes all the way around here. We're going to use a lot of wood to make a really long axle. Um, but then the power will come into here in the pump stack. And then the really neat thing about pump stacks is that uh, if we get specific about how we place them, and I'll note that when we get there, um, but you can transmit power from pump to pump through the levels so if you provide power to one pump and they're all connected the right way then you power the whole stack um, so that's what we're going to do there we're going to power kind of into the the middle bottom there and that'll power power the whole thing and we'll be good for that um 
not where I need to be. Let me here. Make another. Uh, what you call it? Slab. For model. ghosts um but yeah that's kind of where we're at um how are you <laughs> how's, how's it going let me think what's going on we have i've placed some more furniture in our bedrooms we'll see people placing some furniture um this is Nice. Enjoy. Um, and ask questions. I can I can answer a lot of simple questions. Um, what can I do? I don't know. Are these these are elves? It. Yeah, elf merchants. I don't think I'm gonna trade with the elves. I don't think they have anything I want. Our food is getting all sorted. Look at all this. It's all just plump helmets. We're literally down to one pigtail, so that's all the dimple cups. Okay. Um, the other thing that I did was up top, we had a handful of things that were still hanging around up, up here. Um, we had all of our old barracks were look um old barracks and such so i've gone through and i've i've told them to disassemble all of the all of this furniture people should be coming in taking all our furniture back and putting it downstairs these traps too i'm disassembling the traps um all the garbage <laughs> there's all just stuff all these these gems i don't know why these gems are just sitting here are these cut or rough? These are cut. Weird. Um, and we have all of this stuff. These are staying for the moment. These are our long-term staying in people. Um, but our bedrooms, all, I've undone all of these bedrooms. All of our normal people bedrooms and all of our nobles quarters are downstairs now. Um, so they should be coming up and disassembling a bunch of this stuff. All in the In fact, yeah. Cool. So, I'll work on that. I gave them a whole bunch of jobs. Um, what's all this? This is all Kalanite. some stuff. Follow her. Look at our pen. Oh, I hope there's enough grass in here for them all. There's quite a few grazers. Diplomacy. No. Still not gonna cap my trees. Sorry. I need to chop down like a, at least three trees for those axles. So, yeah. No. Native gold. Um. Yeah. So we're we're milking. We're shearing. Cool. All of these visiting barons. And look at all this. All these buckets. People need to come and actually get the buckets. There's a lot of milk for cheese. Oh, there's a dead thing out here. 
Well, fortunately, our wall goes all the way up. So this rotting naked mole dog corpse doesn't send a miasma into our pen. Funny though. There, there was a baron out here. Rotting this troglodyte. Did you die? Finally die? Is this a random nose? Yeah, oh, a giant ohm. Yeah, I bet that, I bet that Baron died. Got a pop. Um, but like this is all moss. This is all fungus. It might be fine. And this is all dirt. Or no, this is clay. I don't think the clay grows stuff. I actually know that for sure. We'll find out. Indated the construction of good. You. Why are you missing a cabinet? Did someone take away a cabinet from you? You want to come? Let's see. Spell things correctly. Come on. Um, yeah, why are you missing a cabinet? Did you... You used to be happy. But you didn't lose one. Very strange. A cabinet. Won't even match. <laughs> what are these? These are all marble. Okay, um, and then while we're here, we need to place a thing. We've made it yet. Oh, there's a... I should place all of those. Hopefully that satisfies some ghosts. Um, and just kind of keeping an eye on our job cancellations. You'll never get this to be perfect. Um, but if you see the, like the same thing happening over and over and over again, sometimes there's improvements you can make. Like this thread job cancels we three thread into cloth, need the thread. I don't know why that one keeps canceling. But we have thread. We have so much thread. At least we used to. And there's no way. Like, like we, well, we probably have a bunch of silk. I don't know how we're on plant thread. <laughs> we have plenty of cave spider, but yeah, pigtail thread. We have thread. Um, I need inaccessible stuff. That's usually just because things moved around. So that, like, they'll try it again and it'll work usually. I'm not too worried about those. Naked Bulldog is fighting. Fighting who? <laughs> A trap. <laughs> Can I look at the Bulldog? No, not really. Um, I'm tempted. There's a... So we have DF hack going in here. Oop. Being chased by naked mold dogs. The more we deal with the fish, the more of these mold dogs I'm seeing. 
but they are much less dangerous. They're kind of a nuisance, though. Uh, what was I just going to say? Oh, oh. Uh, at the very end of the last stream, I queued up a bunch of the components for the pump stack. Um, that's what these are here, so we'll slowly work our way through those. Um, but each pump, each pump takes a block, a corkscrew, and a pipe. And all three of those things need to be made out of magma-safe materials. Um, if you have sand on your map, sand is lovely, sand is an infinite resource, a single tile of sand can provide you with an infinite amount of sand, and then you can turn that into, um, yay, rest, and turn that onto all things at a glass forge, and then if you have like a magma glass forge and a sand tile, infinite glass, um, and glass is magma safe, which is really interesting. Um, so you have magma, you can make very magma, you have, you have sand, you can make magma safe stuff very easily. Because we don't have sand, or it's much, uh, much more cumbersome to get, we've been importing sand, um, but in the volume that we would need, we would need like, I guess like a hundred sand. Oh, and we're gonna have to go through an aquifer too. Hmm. Anyway, long story short, we'll be making pump components out of iron, which we have plenty of iron. Look at all these dogs. Following each other. They're following their parents. Wander flags. That's a good dog name. Why is there a and the missing pedestals. Someone throwing tantrums and knocking stuff over. Sense it. I'm gonna wanna. I kinda want to. Like, move all of our artifacts to other pedestals so I can smooth out these tiles underneath. I don't know why they. They just can't. Can't. Ugh. Hey, look! Zahn is throwing a tantrum. Oh yeah, military. Um, at the very end of the last stream, I'm remembering now, I stationed them all inside. Uh, yeah, I, so I gave them all a uniform that assigns two boots. Not a pair of boots, but two individual boots, because apparently that's how that works. Um, so I gave them all a uniform that actually assigns two boots, and I stationed them inside of the armor stockpile, so that hopefully they can re-equip themselves. It looks like they have. Look at this. A boot on the right foot, and a boot on the left foot. Is that really that hard? Boot, boot. station order seem to have figured it out but we're finally we finally have equipped dwarves look at their like they're still missing their their cloth stuff which is fine that was mostly there just for the sake of not being naked otherwise um, like you can tell they're still missing cloaks and Woods mitten. But that's fine. They have all the steel stuff. They even, like, you have pants even. Yeah, steel mill shirt, steel breastplate, steel helm, steel greaves, steel gauntlets, steel low boots. Perfect. Looks like. Probably working on it. Okay. 
how we're positive. Okay. Dwarves are equipped. Now hopefully they do get good. Oh, here's Zahn. He's still tantruming. Look, another ghost. Go in here. <laughs> Add new. Funnel. to archery demonstration. Are you really? Stand in there. Is your pick it up equipment? Boots. Do you have two boots? You have two boots. Cool. And someone forbade that. Um, and then we're working on engraving all this stuff. Look at all this. So this is our military dwarves and our not military dwarves having a training session. And it's the first of a month, so all of those civilian dwarves are now off training duty, and now a new squad of 10 dwarves are going to come on to training duty. And they're going to come in here and train with the squad. Wait for kicking demonstration. My corridors are serrated because, um, if I, I'm trying to think of where I've actually gone through with it, um, like in here, they're little statue cubbies. Um, yeah, uh, I think we're starting to get to the point where we are cranking out statues, maybe? Down here? No. We'll, we'll keep making statues. Um, they might even be down here. Nope. We'll, we'll have to make more statues. Um, making a bunch of... Making other things. Um, but a really easy-ish easy way, I guess, to uh, pump out a lot of value and to have a lot of really good looking stuff in your fortress is to just make statues. Um, so my thought is if every hallway in our fortress is just smoothed and engraved and every other tile is an encrusted statue, like you can't walk five feet without looking at something cool and having a happy thought about it. Um, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the idea. Um, our our empty dining hall. Um, but like the value in here is gigantic just because it's filled with all these decorated porcelain statues, like entirely made of marble. We'll start engraving all this too. Like the, the val value of that is just astronomical. It starts to add up very quickly. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're statue nooks. I can stuff a bunch of things. It's a habit that I got into a long while ago. Just to like plan to ha plan a space to have statues way before you're actually using them. So that when we have a later fortress, then you don't need to like retrofit them in there and, and like try to move things around. There's just a bunch of nooks for you to place your statues. That's the idea. Uh, and all of them. Grabbing rocks. Cool. The 
manually engraving all this stuff. Slowly, slowly but surely making glass. Um, okay, so we're <laughs> slowly digging all this out. These look good. Almost. So I had them dig it like this to start with, uh, with the one channel. This is where the magma will come up from the level below. You will need to go through and channel out additional spots. Um, but I wanted to make sure that this stuff got dug out before I started screwing with stuff too much. Um, we also want to channel out this tile because when you have two pumps on top of each other, it can transmit power so long as there is a hole between the floors. Um, I think it's kind of particular about which which tile has the floor and stuff like that. Um, basically, you have a hole here, and that's where the magma comes through. You have a hole here, and that's where this level's pump is connected to the bottom layer's pump, and it receives power through that hole, basically. We'll have to, once all these done, I'll go back through and, and designate those channels. I'm making pretty quick work of this. Saw a damp stone cancellation somewhere. What on earth was that? All right. Um, oh, we could we can work on this axle. Um, we don't have to wait for all the other stuff for that. So, do your assembly. Um, and I don't care about the material. There. One way over here. Eventually, one there. And we can connect them with Axel. There. Yeah. More migrants. Jeez. Memory serves. Maybe they changed this. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, there's a max length to an Axel. You can connect two Axels to each other, but as far as like one job goes, that's as far as one axle will go. So we'll do that. And then that. So close. And then can come up this way. And we'll wait for the rest of that big dog out. Just a nice long <laughs> drivetrain situation. Got all um have all our clothing situation. We have cloth. I think possible that all of our thread only well, we has some thread. This is all silk thread though, mostly. Yeah. Um, this is all. This should be strictly things that are not worn and things that are just coming straight from the clothier. But they just ignore me. All worn clothing. So, so 
like clockwork. Oops, easily. This plant clock. We have way more. There's absolutely 30 clock. Considering I do it like what if I make each job just do one? And just check every day. <laughs> oh, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I have dug into a river. Um, so you can't build in water, I believe. Um. You could, if you have a way, if there's a spot you can block it from that's not currently in water, you could build a wall. Um, if you want to control it, you can build a floodgate and connect it to a lever. Um, or you could build a, like a bridge. Um, in a, you build a bridge that will create a wall when it's upright, then that will also block water, hole, water flow. Um, but all those things require you to build them on dry spaces to start with. So good luck. <laughs> um, depends on how how urgently your your situation is. Um, but water pressure is a thing. My entire dugout area may or may not be flooded. Um, are you on a cold biome? Your your if it's on the surface still, your uh, your water might freeze in the winter. And then you can like you can mine ice and then build in that space before it thaws again. Just make sure you get out of the hole before it thaws. Um but yeah, welcome to water pressure. Water is a water is a killer. Um the main thing to know about water pressure is that if if like if you're at you got a surface river, if water goes down, it will come back up. If it has a way to come back up, then it will, um, once it fills up the lower levels. Um, yeah. 
the the way that I get around that is uh, down here, here, here. Our water is coming down here. This is a, a surface river that I've diverted. It's coming down here, but it's being diverted off to the edge of the map here. Um, I have a little our fortification tiles, and this is the very edge of our map, our playable area. Um, so that allows the water to flow off the map, which means the pressure doesn't build back up, and doesn't flow back up to, to upper levels. Um, that's the easiest way to control water, is just to make sure that anything that is flowing down can go out before it comes back up. Um, but as far as just you know, being on the level of the river and having the river go in places you don't want. A uh, little trick here. You, you deal with it. Uh, let's... <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's like the main reason I keep coming back to Dwarf Fortress is because you go like Okay, I know how I'm going to do it this time. I know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to make sure it all works perfectly. And then you get halfway through and you go, Oh, I should have done it that way, shouldn't I? I'll do that right in the next fortress. Just one more fortress. Yeah, that's how this goes. Welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, so we did those, those things. Uh, plant into slurry. I want to make sure... That's for paper. And that's paused because we have not enough plant. Okay. And then slurry into sheet. Okay. And then we have other clothing jobs somewhere. Shoes. Uh, Daily hair. Just gonna just gonna make them. Um, bags. I think we're okay on bags. Findings, crafts, rope, great block, burlash, hooks. See if this is smart. This is kind of me seeing if I can <laughs> make this work. Um, not monthly. I want daily. Good. Is that we just need more cloth that's fine those are for silk even we definitely have that much silk hmm they make in silk they should be we should be flooded in silk
shoes. Shoes are probably fine. Yeah, we have so much leather. Let's, I'll leave that as it is. Check this, like, daily, though. As it's active. Oh, because this isn't checking thread, is it? Used collected plant thread. Uh, we have, we had it. progress on those. Um, in theory, these are all checking daily. silk. They have a make plant cloth. Collecting webs. Forever. Make silk cloth. Cloak. Mitten. Also tell someone to use all of our wool. We're we're making wool. We're collecting wool, but I'm not actually making any clothes out of wool. And we're also dyeing thread. So you should check. Yeah, dye everything. Weaving silk cloth. Maybe that's the problem. Do you thread into silk? Okay. 
see if that helps at all. Yeah, see, now everyone's down here training. Individual combat drill. Satisfied upon approving fighting. That'd be cool. Need kicking demonstration. I really wish we could peek in on like the demonstrations themselves. I just really want to see a dwarf being like, here's how you kick. And then like a clother going like, okay. Um, have we put our ghosts to rest? Wait for this to be placed. More damp stone. Oh, I see. Bug. I dug this little passage here, so it was like an access from above. Um, but this is all going to be wet. Mm, that'll be fun. Aquifers and magma pools. That'll be cool. Also kind of a self-solving problem, I'm sure. Once something turns into obsidian, water's not going to continue passing through it. So maybe, maybe we'll look at it. Planter has been put to rest. Huh. All looks fine. This is as high as I need to go. It's like right, of course. Or no. It was one higher than I needed to. <laughs> I don't need this at all. Right. Yeah, we're just going here. <laughs> um, but this, however, we do need out that. And that's our hole, and then we're pumping out. Looks fine. Do a quick inspection of our mining. Uh, something went wrong. So that's. That's just a weird slope. Okay, I think we can just remove this slope. And that will be a hole, and then we'll be okay. That's fine. Same thing here. Oop. And this all looks fine. Cool. Oh, and now you're stuck down here. <laughs> um, I have this whole area around our magma is walled in. Um, we had like a giant cave spider show up in here at one point, so I've closed off this gate. The closed off entirely. So I'm gonna open this. So that that person can come back inside. Uh, and we can deal with these, this area too. Baron Consort of Mine Point, found dead. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you go over there for?
more concerning is who has found this. Uh, I'm gonna forbid your corpse. But no one tries to come out here and take it. Sorry. Your your tomb will be the obsidian that you share with the fishes. So sorry. Hmm. Here, we'll wait for this to open. Make sure it opens up. Hmm. Eventually. All these. I guess I'm not too upset about a random baron dying when there's that many. They just keep coming. Making cheese. I mean, and we have all that wool. I'm gonna just toss in like a. Everyone likes robes, right? Not stuck, are you? You're also not digging more. Oh, you're up in the air. The... <laughs> okay, I guess that makes sense. You can't climb down that tree. Um, okay, so we want to like dig some and build some here. So our magma is gonna come here we're gonna this will be the where we put our gate and everything comes through here and then this will be our little reservoir and granite block. Okay. I'm going to use those. Bottom level. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have these. I'm gonna construct stairs, but the stairwell goes all the way down. And that's the simplest. We will have to chop a tree, of course. Locked this location. This? No. Drop the tree. Fine. Hmm. I don't want to 
dig more stuff because you're just gonna end up needing to put it back. Let's... I want to fix this. Oh, night. Still in the tree. No? Now you're just on this ramp. You're like injured or something? No. Hauling a pick. Now you're, now you're good. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay. Now people are coming. Now we're good. Of course, we're gonna have water draining through all of this. Let's do this. Slowly. They're trying. I'm giving a lot of jobs. Don't really want... Creature. Your butt is in the way. All of you is in the way. Go over this way. He'll chill there for a second, maybe. What? Probably just them needing to clear all those rocks and... You know how that goes. Oh, I should designate the rest of these channel bits. Okay, so here's Reservoir 1. Dropped our trees. Now, two stairs. Can also be granite blocks. Why not? Mm, yeah. 
Uh, so that one, and then want four. We'll wait for the stairs to be made. And we have a stair going across to this level. And then this is our entrance to this level. Okay, so we'll let them do that. I will designate these other channel bits. So basically you're just doing this tile on each level. This will be how power is transferred from one level to the other. I haven't done a pump stack in a long time. I've been avoiding doing things quite this fiddly for a couple of my fortresses. But why not? Cancelled due to campstone, didn't it? Hmm. It's gonna become problematic real quick. There's something I should craft to store my cooked meals. No, um, as long as you have a food stockpile and make sure that it can allow barrels, um, it will store all the food inside the barrels. Um, stockpiles are the pantry, essentially. Um, food inside a food stockpile will not pe will not rot, but food stored anywhere else will, basically. Um, like <laughs> my silly dwarves. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You go to everyone's bedrooms. They've been they've been hoarding food in their chests. I've noticed. Maybe not so much down here. Like this? They'll do this on their own. But like these will these will rot eventually if this person doesn't eat their food. Um, I think they're okay if they're in the chest. They're only gonna do that for their own items. Um, but generally speaking, here's my main food stockpile. Looking at the stockpile itself, you can click on this symbol, and you can designate maximum amount of barrels, bins, and wheelbarrows. By default, I believe a food stockpile will allow as many barrels as it has piles. Like 180 is probably the most amount that could physically fit in here, so by default it'll allow barrels and such. Um, like leather will allow bins likewise um, but this is fine like this is this, that's all you need to do for food um, one thing to know about stockpiles that is a common thing to trip people up um, like you could go in here you can make a st custom stockpile that can accept literally everything um, and it will work the main thing you need to look out for is refuse um, Refuse stockpiles work a little bit uniquely on their own just because um, refuse will rot. Things put in refuse stockpiles will rot faster than they would otherwise. Um, so just, so which is to say don't, like if you make a big stockpile that can accept a whole bunch of things, don't enable refuse on any Pile that's for general use. If you, you only want refuse on things that are actual things you want to go away. 
Um, can I store wood in a particular box or anything? Wood just, wood is wood. Um, where's, where am I? Wood just does that. Um, there's a lot of things that don't stack. Like, oh, this one isn't allowing it, but I don't think it would. Like bones don't stack, rocks don't, rocks don't stack, but blocks do. Um, which is significant because, like, a number of rocks will condense into blocks. Um, like, look at how many, like, a rock turns into a block, I'm pretty sure. Um, but because these are in a bin, like, this would have been a dozen rocks just sitting on the ground here. This. But because they're blocks, they can go into a box. Um, clothing can go in boxes. Furniture cannot. Bo boxes can't go in boxes. Uh, what? What did something? Boogers. Generally speaking, uh, when you place a type of stockpile, it will allow the barrel or bin or whatever um, that that kind of stockpile can utilize. As long as you're designating it that way, then it, you should be fine. You can also go in and help them to be specific about it, too. Wheelbarrows always defaults to zero. You have to build wheelbarrows on purpose and assign them places. Which is smart. Um, like I have... Like, no, those might actually just be <laughs> the wheelbarrows being stored here. Um, but like rocks? See here. Person's using a wheelbarrow to haul rocks around. And that will actually make the hauling job faster. And they're able to do that because I have five wheelbarrows assigned to this. But for like things like rocks specifically, if you have a rock stockpile and you're trying to move heavy things or like four, definitely give those some wheelbarrows. Um, that speeds it up. And if you're lucky, if your map has willow, willow trees, willow in particular is a really light wood. But making things like bins and wheelbarrows and like crutches and like anything that anyone has to haul around, you make it out of a lighter wood. They haul it faster. Um, what was I doing? That's all. Doom. These are getting made. Slowly but surely. Yeah, and all of our holes are getting dug. Well. Cool. And we have stairs. Perfect. Okay. So this is making a little bit more sense now. Er. This is fine. So this will be the bottom layer of our pop stack. This level is fine, actually. Well, we want um, can't see my screen. gonna go slink off to the other side of the desk. Yeah. Anyway, um, I want to put a floodgate here, but I can control flow. Floodgate. Do, we'll do this. Or, um, I think I want a fortification first. I want to do a fortification and then a floodgate. Construction, fortification, that, and then blocks. 
then so these three are reservoir. I need to enclose. This is where we're coming from. There. See where that gets us. Um, and it is fine. Rings are fine. Rivers are. Fighting? Forgotten beast. Oh, Ule. Down here. You run off to. Uh. Diplomat. All of our fish people. Soon fish people. Just chilling. Seriously injured again. Now you're better. I looked it up. Ulet means wispy in human. So this forgotten beast is wispy the bad. You've been pretty bad so far. What are your kills at? Uh else. 182 other kills, plus that one forgotten beast. Oh, the plump helmet men! No, the plump helmet men! Not the mushroom people! Well, there's lots of tricks with pump stacks. <laughs> One trick to know about pump stacks is since since we have this hole, we're gonna be building our you know machine partly overhanging a hole, which means we need to start from the bottom. Um, the the pump stack below will be partially supporting the pump stack above. So if we try to build them out of order, then they'll collapse and well, not good. We'll need to start from the bottom and work the way up. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, fish. Hey, fish. Who has disturbed the cave fish? No one. Really, it was someone. See, aren't they? 
Maybe they're plotting our demise too. It's just a matter of who gets there first. And they're just slinking back. Very strange. Hey, look, Zahn is throwing a tantrum. Are you... no? You are... You... no. You're just... Here to harass a brewer. Now you're drinking. <laughs> tantrum over. <laughs> You're not yourself while you're thirsty, so have a drink. Uh, wishes to join, sure. <laughs> Lots of combat reports. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so dying threat is happening. Ash, wooden barrel, shell crafts, mill plants, make yarn robe is happening, cheese is happening, webs, and crafts. Mm -hmm. Someday we will have clothes. If I dig in the squares below a river, will that mess me up? Um, depends on what you're, well, no. So if, what's up tonight? You're all chopping trees, aren't you? So, now we have, this is a brook, your brooks might, you might not have a brook, so your surface might, might look slightly different. Um, but we have, bumped, sorry. Um, whatever. So obviously, if you mine in from the side, then this water can spill out this way. You go down one level, you can dig here. This is totally fine to dig. It will give you um, cancellations for damp stone. It'll tell you, like all of these tiles directly under a river. You'll you can designate uh, a job, and then it will cancel. But then you can designate it again, and you'll be fine. You just don't want to punch through the ceiling. Just try. Don't try to dig up. That will be bad. Um, but you can, if you if you mine directly beneath something, there is still a floor. Um, kind of the way that these tiles work is that there's like a every Z level has space, like a main chunk, and then a, a floor. Yeah, a floor, and then the floor acts as the ceiling for the level below. Um, so if you kind of imagine beneath between each layer that you're looking at, there's kind of a little sandwiched floor layer. As long as you leave those floors intact, then the, the river can be just on that floor, basically, and you can have stuff beneath it. Um, Uglar Zenudist. That's a name. I just saw nudist and paused. Um, same thing with magma. You'll find warm stone eventually, but the same rules apply. Um, it's just rare for you to be beneath magma. Usually if you have found magma, it continues downwards. So be careful about that when you see. Um, there's, if you do a whole lot of water digging, um, and you get annoyed by the job cancellations, like you know for sure that you aren't digging into the river and you wanted to stop canceling those jobs, I think there's a setting for, I think there's a setting for it in here. It'll say like damp stone cancellations or damp stone warnings. Or plump helmet men. Hmm. Okay. that built? Now we want.
Um, one thing to keep an eye out for if you're sur if you're port if you're starting if you're digging stuff way close to the surface. Um, at this, it was fine. There we go. Um, if you were digging, if you're making stuff on the low the level directly beneath the surface. Um, be aware that trees, trees have root systems that go down a level. Um, the reason that's important is because if you chop a tree or a tree dies on the surface and the tree goes away and the roots go away, you leave a hole. Um, so a lot of people will say you want to go down at least like two levels before you start digging out spaces for, for fort stuff um, and minimizing what's to, like one level beneath the surface um, just because trees can accidentally open holes in your ceiling and that, that's not so much fun. Or it is fun. It's fun in the capital F way. Uh, band export. That's fine. This path over here is strictly so that we can channel... Oh. Um, I'm going to place a floodgate here before I forget. Floodgate. Gabro, because it is magma safe. You, you're what? Dumping items. Oh, cause a cat got in here. I did all the things, please. Okay, are you gonna run away? Thank you. <laughs> now they're just gonna slink back. They really don't like to be out of the water. I don't know if I got lucky or unlucky with these fish people. Um, they're gonna try to come into the fortress, aren't they? That's fine. You clean? You don't need to clean the cave floor. <laughs> it's fine. Leave it. Three adventures cave there. Kill those three in particular, please. Of course you have. Mm, you want a low boot. get into our traps eventually <laughs> oh here comes a here comes our squad you take on three by yourself have you hang back don't need you do anything stupid never mind okay <laughs> we're not too dangerous one-on-one -on -one. Mm. 
what are you wanting? Run towards the soldiers. Ugh. That's fine. Now, now we have to chase after this other one. And chase he does. Okay. Easy enough. Thank you. Um, open up some of this. So much junk. We even have enough room in our all these steel shields. Why? Someone pick up the steel shields. Is our melt pile like totally full? No, actually we have. Oh look, we're making our iron pipes are here. Corkscrews. Does not show up in. All this stuff that shouldn't be here. Dorks. Okay, so now we need to link this with thing. dog. Oh, I had a thought. So I... We have a burrow. We set up this inside burrow. We're just going to assign the entire fortress. Um, and I'm going to allow it... Well, I mean, that's going to be... You don't have a job, you're just here. Okay. So allow people to come outside of the fort of the that zone. Get stuff, but just let me make sure it's all hidden. Um I ran into a problem last time because most of my fortress is technically in a squad that is in the militia, even though I don't have them doing militia things. So that uh, add all citizens button didn't add very many people at all. Um, but I didn't add the soldiers because I was afraid that if I added soldiers, then they wouldn't be able to go outside of the burrow. I was wondering if, if a squad is assigned to a burrow and I give them a station order outside of it, I'm betting that they can still do that. I want to try that. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna burrow everybody basically. But of course that means I need to make sure. Uh, mm, here, all of this is also part of the burrow. this whole this whole thing That doesn't deal with the immediate issue of this person in the fish pile. You're gonna run? 
He's running. You're going to bring three more fish with you. Not even. Okay. Fine. I'm not going to go pick fights with them. Hopefully, hopefully our burrow will keep people inside more effectively. Um, I do want to make sure that I have people. Oh, gee, need people in my squad. Two more new people. And swords door. Weird. Why did all that change as I was looking at it? Everyone just lose their experience as I was ex inspecting. I asked for volunteers for the squad and everyone's like, not me. I don't know how to do anything. We're all good. Then we'll just fill the civilian squads. sure this one person no mayor I don't want to assign the mayor because he's also my builder and he keeps being on duty whenever I want him to train he's gonna be the only one who's not Probably finally at a population where I can't just have the entire fortress in a squad. It's not easily. I have I have 12 of these squads, but they each do one month. That's 120 dwarves, and now I have 190. Well, some of those are children.
many people. How can we have had so many people die and still have so many people left? Okay, yeah, and that's all my spots. Okay, who is Tantrum? You just throw on a fit and a stairway. A bunch of soldiers on the stairwell. Not initiating a fist fight. Oh, now you're gonna go eat. Okay. Okay, well, you're making a silk mitten. Okay, jobs are showing up here. webs. We've thread into silk. Okay. No more depressed dwarfs. Gosh, dang it. Okay. So, we have... Oh, lever. That's right. I'm gonna put a lever over here. that and then the magma will come into here we don't need a pump on this level i'm being silly we don't need a pump to the first level I'm just gonna put a wall well once we link this up i'll just wall this in that's all we have to do and then this level pump into here uh, Once all this is settled, well, I'll kind of wall this up and seal it off. Um, but I think this all looks good. We could probably actually start placing it. And look at all this. Axles. Axles for days. Perfect. This is all turning already. Okay. So, we don't care about here. And I want to make sure... I want that to be built before I place it there. Okay, so that's the last. I don't think they can... One of the tiles is impassable. I think once you place the thing, they won't be able to get into the, the reservoir area. So, item inaccessible, that's something I'm looking for with this, uh, whatchamacallit, burrow situation. We have way too many. Hard to tell if any of them are like 
feature of item. Causing some cancel. Uh, make silk robe. Make silk trousers. At least we're using our silk now. I think we weren't actually turning the silk thread into silk cloth. That might have been the problem. Look at all this garbage. Try this. Let's do machine, screw pump. They have a facing. Well, that you can actually see it. Um, at the liquid flow direction below, water flows from the adjacent input tile from the tile below the input. Oh, I see. So we want this one to pump normal. Face it. Not needs to be there. This hole is wrong. That's what I did wrong. Okay, <laughs> let's do panel here and or here. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what's going on. And then we <laughs> we have to channel here as well. Cancels slaughter mountain goat animal inaccessible. Are you I probably need to make this inside the burrow. down here, but we'll we're all safe in here. Okay, except. And now that should help them with because of this garbage here. Maybe I'm okay with them leaving trash in the cave for now. Maybe like we're, we're getting aquifer water draining out through here, so maybe I'll do a um, 
and fortifications so that water can keep draining. That's how that works. This is a fluid of items. all sides of it. That would enclose all of that. Then... And up here. We'll wait for that to be done. We're getting there. Giving us time to forge all of those, um... Voicemails. Um... Giving us time to forge all those iron pipes and such. Because that... We're probably not even done with that yet. Or maybe we are. Impressive. Cool. I'm legitimately surprised at that. Come on, you dig the one tile. Actually, this doesn't need either, does it? We're not transmitting power down. The instant it's done. <laughs> I realize I don't need to do it. Um, it probably does need to be, probably needs to have it. Don't mind me just undoing and redoing a million times. Uh, we have our lever, yes, link lever. Want to specify the mm. Mm. went into this last time. I don't know how to pick. Okay. If we can get two of our magma safe mechanisms placed there, maybe that'll help. old versions you could choose. You have to manually choose the, the mechanisms. I don't know why that's not a thing anymore. Unless I'm just missing how it's supposed to work. Well, 
that's right. I gotta like build. You can't stand on top of fortification. Floors like that. Will allow us to build the corners. Uh, build these. Now, let's make the first screw pump. It pumps north. So, we need a block. We're using gabbro blocks, enormous iron corkscrews, and iron pipe section. Hey, look, a siege. Hooray. Where? Oh, there you are. are. You coming? Okay. Let's. Well, our um, our burrow is still active, so hopefully there's no one hanging out around out here. Just station some people. Here they come. Is that it? More than six, but not by much. No one struggling out here. Frog. that too much. You visitors ready to leave. And there's our squads. Okay. Oh, well, just gonna go right into them. Baroness. I wish I could like warn you or something. What about you? All three of you running towards it. You're not... Let me guess, you're naked. Yeah. Well, you actually have a weapon. Cool and all. Terrified while in conflict. You ran into it. I'm not actually dead yet. You are unconscious, though. Here yet? Nope, not quite. Let's. No, you're not worth it. <laughs> I want them to group up a little bit. Oh, they're just gonna automatically go out anyway. Got six dwarves and or six goblins in the same pile, that's all. Where are you going? Come on. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well,
cleaning up. Anyone left? Did you survive? <laughs> Doesn't feel anything after seeing a goblin die. Well, you survived. Unless you're just going to bleed out here. Assume you're... Not good. <laughs> One more goblin? Excellent. Are you still fighting here? Just... We did take some injuries. How fragile we are. Frail, anxious, sickly, musical. Disdains fairness, values power. <laughs> I don't know. Aiton, drunk, found dead. Was that the... I don't know, that was a... It was him, wasn't it? Fairness in life. Or barren in life, drunk in death. Such is dwarf. Cool, got him. We didn't lose any soldiers, yeah. Took a tantrum. The only person who died was a visitor that we had no control over. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Antrimon? Now they are going to... I'm just going to continually cancel <laughs> all this stuff. Um, I'm just going to do this for the sake of making them happy. Now let's check... Oh, still... Oh, we can do this. Microcline isn't magma safe, I don't think. Check that. No. Wood burner. What happened to you? Burner is fighting. Planter punches the Baroness in the head. Bruising the upper spine's nervous tissue. Planter punches the Baroness in the right upper leg. Damming the bone through the right hip's muscle. Ligament has been torn. Ow! Who was that? That was Aerith. Hmm. Microcline. This is not Magnus. Antrimming baby. I have a lot of sheep. Writing, well, eating, 
here's a written on choir. Someone's written on a choir but hasn't found it yet. And I bet you someone's coming over to at least move it. Uh, written on this item is an untitled letter authored by Tulan Datan Kosa. No particular subject. Writing is artfully indulges in the author's fancies and it has some particularly crisp changes in topic. <laughs> Probably being kind in its description there. We got people in our guild halls. Social life. Social life. Anyone gonna deal with the corpse? Maybe. Okay, so you can see the, the pipe has been brought here. The corkscrew has been block, brought here. Waiting for the block to be brought here. And then they can finish it. I believe it will let me... It'll let me place the next one. I'm pretty sure. But I've gotten myself in trouble before. needs ground or near machine. You can see if I place it over this spot with nothing underneath it, it doesn't work, but here the open space with the machine beneath. Even though machine isn't built fully yet, it knows that it's going to be. If I can place above as if it were placed below. But if something bad happens and like the one on the bottom doesn't work, like we get something, something happens and you break one, then it like cascades up and breaks the whole chain the night uh so <laughs> i think it's probably safer to wait until at least wait until a one is um it's melting limonite holy cow must have gotten through all of our iron we could probably designate a whole bunch of iron uh armor to They clearly don't like being burrowed. I'm going to pause the burrow. Of course, they're all going to run out and agitate the fish people and get in trouble, but... Not matters, I guess. No one come down here. They can't get over there now. Because mm, I don't oh, got this. Um, let's just do a little access tunnel. We'll have to wall that off after. Speaking of damp stone cancellations, if we're I went through an aquifer like this, I probably want to turn that off. Um, game. Sounds like we're loading. Confirmation window. down arrows. Now. 
there used to be a setting for it. Hmm. We'll just have to deal with that again. Anyway, I've made a machine. from the south, a little hole there, to the north, all that is magma safe. And we can come up here and we can make another pump. Pumps from the north. The block, iron, and maybe I'll do like a handful at a time. Like five. One, two, three, four. Like Start there. Look like making sure I didn't get any backwards or something. I think we're good. Um, so then this silly mechanism situation. I... how about this? The nuclear option. Come on. Find all of our mechanisms. And we will forbid all the ones that aren't. Which is a lot of things. My goodness. Okay. There. Think about that. Link. Gabro. Now, unforbid them all. the job go. Excuse me. Excuse me.
do. That. Can it not take a job when it's forbidden? Yep. Bizarre. Do it again. or something and I accidentally dumped everything on top of them or something. I think that's okay. We'll get linked and then we'll wall off this. Slowly build these. That's going to take a minute. Um, our power. Go here. We got 100 power left over after all the axles. And each pump only takes 10. So we'll need 400 ish power to pump, to power the pump stack itself. Still have extra left over. Right, thread is happening. We bound a book. Okay, fine. And a quiver again. Process plant. Um, oh, in our hospital, we should we finished out mining. Well, I shouldn't say that. We have the really aquifer layer to deal with. Um, it's going to be our hospital. Is going to be the well area of the hospital. Um, but we need to dig down to make this a functional. of it. Hopefully no one falls in. <laughs> uh, we had a human caravan show up. their way up here still. Back for more thrift stop thrift shopping. Want to take all our clothes.
Hey, Mayor. Making statues? Making statues. Relax. Um. That got linked. Now I'm going to seal this off. One one trick for walls, in case you were wondering. Um, if you ever, like in a situation like this where I'm trying to seal off an area, I obviously don't want a dwarf to be standing inside while they make the wall and wall themselves in cask of amontillado themselves in there um you can kind of influence it because because they'll all they'll just naturally get themselves into situations like that on their own because they're smart um but they will do their best to not stand on a tile that has another construction designation on it when they when they build the thing um, so sometimes I will designate two walls like this, and then just suspend the other, suspend the one that's not the actual wall. This is just here because I don't want a dwarf to stand here when they make this wall. If that makes sense. Um, so in theory, by placing this here, then they will want to stand up here when they make the wall. And once it's made, let's remove this, and then we just ignore it. And I know there's a the default. I forget if they default to like standing on the north or the south side. I know they default to one of those. And I'm being safe and putting that there. Um, let's move some goods to trade depot. All worn clothing. Is trade goods. Nine thousand worth of trade goods. I want to make sure there's no a lot of porcelain. There's a way. Here we go. Fifth scroll. There's a page at a time. Okay. You're fine. Who you are also. That's on turtle shell figurine of Zoldan throw basements, the gloved peaks of. do all that. That's probably fine. I'm liking our trade depot set up. I'll decide with this at least. And then our the liaison comes in. Oh, it's just a bard. <laughs> Look at all this milk. They make so much cheese. Kids. Yeah, cool. So that worked. Now I can just come here and cancel. Now we're good. We don't have a dwarf trapped inside. This has mechanism to it. So we can actually go ahead and channel this. No reason not to, I don't think. And then I'm going to close this off as well. We'll put like a wall. 
I want to make sure that someone actually has access to this, though. <laughs> I can't remember if, if they can cross over this. But we'll find out. Silk trousers, silk sock. I'll just have a lot of silk clothing, that's fine. Better anyway. See, now... Someone wrote one choir. And then I had... I have four different shops who can take a bookbinding job, right? I'm pretty sure... And they're all like... They only activate when there's one written on choir. I think they must have all activated with the one choir. We have one bound book, and then three shops who have a continual job to bind a book. There is no book, because we already bound it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. East Ulet the Bad is fighting bug bats. Cool, cool. Migrants. Are we at the cap? <laughs> One. Horse. Literally just the one guy. Oh, he has a duck. There's nothing like a good friend. As I show up to a fortress alone with a duck and a horse. Yeah, you know, literal one person might person migration wave. Sorry, it's a mule, sorry. A mule and a duck. Heat. Oh, it's named even. Is that yours? Are you Zazit? You are. Is the mule yours? Or you just a mule. <laughs> Let's put the mule in the pasture. Or I forget about you. Free mule. He's just A lot of dogs. Well, that's one thing I can do. I want to deal with our prisoners. In theory, all of our squads are all um, fitted out now. I'm going to station them in here. to slaughter some caged cavefish people. Troglodytes and Gorlax and Crundles. Yeah. I have a couple of plump helmet men. They can mold. Um, but okay, so now we will... Err... Right, I have to make a dump zone? Or no, a pit. A pit zone. Turn all of these holes into pits. And because they don't have to be contiguous, this is all going to be a single pit zone. But it's a series of individual holes. Now, select animal to be dropped into the pit. So, Orlac. Orlac. Troglodytes. I'm only picking the things that are in here specifically. So that's Troglodytes, Gorlax, Cavefish People, Bundle. Troglodyte children. Wow, we have a lot of plump helmet men.
Um, but in theory, people are going to start coming over in... Out of condos. Hopefully the cavefish people are... Uh... Just, just get shoved in and don't make a fuss about it. Let's see if this turns into a disaster. I should have trapped here, too. Yeah. Into the pit! Uh, do you not want to kill it? <laughs> Our Gorlax's not hostile enough to kill? station. I'm just going to go freshen up. <laughs> uh, okay. Troglodytes and crundles should be Pick up a crundle, toss in the crundle. Crundle, toss in the crundle. I see now they're hitting the cr the hmm. Oh, and then they're gonna like come in and to try to grab all the corpses as they go. Because of course. Don't. You don't need to clean while they're fighting. You will continue to make a mess. Fortunately, everyone in our fortress has watched a kicking demonstration or two. Okay, here come the cave fish. Yeah, perfect. Sure, no one gets got for shoving it in the pit. trap in here. Just in case. single migrant. Damp snow. Honey bee wax earrings. Sure. Seems to be all going fine. Let them continue. Um, troglodyte. Troglodyte. Lump helmet men are like, they're not really hostile, as far as I'm aware. Well, what do I do with Corlax? All these. Children. 
I have a peregrine in a cage. Let it out. Hey, mister. Are you a goblin? I'm assuming these goblins are like actually here. If they're not, then someone's going to be in for a surprise. Giant Wolverine. Excuse me. That's something I need to be training. Oh, all these naked. guys tossed in and now we have all these empty cages great <laughs> like the creatures falling from the ceiling being murdered by a soldier as in scrubbing the floors all the while Everyone nice and traumatized. It's going well though. I mean no one's I'm assuming no one's died. some experience. Um, I'm thinking about sending our squads abroad to fight some goblins, since they're now wearing their boots. Creatures apparently. It's on. That's on while oh, you're in here. Wearing a tantrum while training, while watching a <laughs> watching a wrestling demonstration, and tantruming. You do you. Felt satisfied after teaching striking. Please do not take lessons from Zahn. Here's how you bust someone's lip with a book. <laughs> oh no, we lost one. Was that a soldier? No. Who just died? Where's your corpse? A lot of troglodytes. your 
した。Kind of carnage, at least. Soldiers don't like it. They're all becoming grumpy. Afraid after experiencing trauma. But you annihilated them. Afraid after experiencing trauma. Listen. I feel so good. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is. I'm drunk. Injuries. Be gone, fear. You're not injured. Well, I think we're only just a couple left. Made quick work of that. Wow. if these are actually assigned. They are. Yeah, there's three more. Four more. It's cool that it groups them at the top. Didn't used to do that. Why are you hauling it so far? The whole point is that there's a hole adjacent to every single cage. Interrupted by combat. Yeah, a bit. I just wrap these last ones up. I can tell everyone to go home. I feel like they have enough room for all of our empty cages. That's ridiculous. One. What, like one, two more? In the pit. You too, please. Get out here. You almost made it. Not really. No. There's a there's a troglodyte here. We accomplished what we were going for here. Unforbid all of that junk, and our friends can take out the trap. Um, so now we have this stockpile gives to this stockpile. So I'm going to tell this one to accept Plump Helmet. I'll bring those over. Um, the Helmet Snake. Also a Falcon in here? Yeah, and Naked Mole Dogs. Well, Trading. Hey, 
retreat. Okay, so you have instruments. I'm gonna do designate. You have the three bends. Almost 12k. Yeah, why not? Um, quads. And some Como. You have to actually install somewhere, they don't just fit in a chest. Like, I think I have enough of those. I have some of these ones. Lots of very similar instruments. Big drums. For me, box. Back. Chicory seeds. Cloth. That's apparently the thing we need. Uh, can I put this you? Fine. You can keep your cloth. Probably make some bedroom here. We have actually actually have enough beds for all of our bedrooms now. Only mildly absurd. Oh, forgotten beast. Isa Rali, a huge eyeless dimetrodon, square shell, and it undulates rhythmically, but where it's poisonous gas. Uh, bets on which cave that's in. Ah. 
gonna have them smooth out the rest of these just so that they're all done. Um, oh, and I need to actually be bedroom. You see which one missed a bed? I just have to assign them to... Yeah, I just assign it to a location. So we'll, we'll do that. But move them, furnish them, main thing. I mean, that's a lot of bedrooms. That's... I think 10 by 5 is 50, and I have 4, so 200 rooms. That's enough. A lot of people will, like, they'll double up in here if they're married. They won't double up there, one. There's two people in there. Two people in there. And children will, will occupy their parents' room as well, I believe. Until they become, I guess, maybe babies stay in their room, but children get their own? I don't know, one of those. And... We have to deal with it. Or we watch you get eaten by fish. One of those two. Who's gonna find the fish? Isa the Lurid. Who are you? What are you doing? Baron of Granite Plunged. Seriously injured. The, the wandering barons just everywhere. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on my burrow. How about that? I don't care if all your jobs cancel and you get all upset. Stay out of the cave. You you're still here. You're just in a tree. Mm. You another baroness. going to do anything or are you just gonna sit there you baroness sit sitting in a tree want to send my squad over there because we're going to agitate a million fish in the process. We have to come from up here. And there's, all, there's stuff in here. Stuff in here. Just 
why it's not you know rampaging Vaporing. Heavy bleeding. I mean, if you kill the fish or the fish kill you, I'm okay either way. I just want one of you to deal with the other. These are all being automatically forbidden, right? Corpses. Died? You died! You died to a fish. How embarrassed. Forgotten beast scratches the cave fish woman in the right hand. Severed part severs arc off in an arc. Cave fish woman strikes a forgotten beast in the right lower leg. Right rear leg with steel shield. Glances away. Same thing. Forgotten Beast bites the cave fish woman spearman in the lower body, tearing apart the muscle, and tearing apart the pancreas. An artery has been opened, Forgotten Beast latches on, and then dies. Last thing you did was be thrown away. You got latched on firmly. Wow. I'm not sure who actually got the kill here. Might have just bled out. Interesting. It was slaughtering and mid attack and then fell over dead. Uh, okay. In celebration of. Wait, where's our queen? Something terrible just happened. King is visiting. Not our king, surely. We are the capital. What is happening here? Visitor. King. He sob noble steals. Uh, groups. King of the Dip Ceiling. Former outpost liaison. been a uh, former 
sheriff. Huh. Mayor meets with the high treasure humans. This is unrelated. Um, I do still want. Probably good on instruments, though. That's what I want. Beats. Can I just ask for books? Uh, tools? Codices. I know they, they bring them sometimes. What are they what are they called? It's tradition for the monarch to show up with have to wade through a pile of dead bodies anyway. <laughs> that happened the first time too. I'm just confused. Is Olan still here? Last name's different. This is her. I was looking at her memories recently. Friendship is her. Where'd he go? King? Supposedly. Um. King. Felt empathy discussing an acquaintance's problem. Needs royal throne room. Oh, but he's still a visitor. Or no, visitor has come to pray at the Church of Seeds. Well, you're in a guild hall right now. <laughs> Having an intellectual discussion with an acquaintance. I'm just gonna pop pop your head into each guild hall. Fortress is great, isn't it? Don't know who you are. Disdain's knowledge. I mean, we just have no monarch in our screen. If 
I don't think she died. Got no notification of her dying. We could... Oh, here, let's look at this. Look at her bedroom. I mean, if she were dead, she'd be here. Unnamed tomb. What the heck? She got unassigned from her bedroom. I don't know what causes that. I don't know if this guy is our new king. Um, oh, we have a bunny. Um, ready to leave. Dip ceiling. We are the dip ceiling. We are the capital of the dip ceiling. Civilization, the dip ceiling. Report? Hmm. Imposter. What happens when he leaves the map? Does Queen Olan re reascend once he leaves the map? Can they just not exist on the same map at the same time? There goes the humans too. Bye. You related to anyone here? You're related. Oh, you know a bunch. Spatial sense, great sense of empathy, iron will, very good creativity, very good feel for... Oh, he's gone. Oh. Well, I'm have a queen. What the heck? Quivered. Got your yap. Yeah. We're still getting all these visiting barons. It's melt not. Oh, I can designate more melt objects. That's that's easy. We're all right here. Um. I just do the whole pile. Or I can do this. No. This is all good. Iron and copper. This. Melt. Yeah. Melt the whole dang thing. Get 
there. But we don't have a queen. A surgeon. Oh, here you please. He forbid all the things. Here for you weren't here for nothing. Please run. Probably here for the corpses. here. Probably not the best <laughs> way across. And you. What are you looking for? Store item and stockpile. Store item and stockpile. Stop it. There's nothing over here for you. I should do here and set these traffic zones rather than walk up this way. have to come over here. Well, the fish are keeping to themselves at least. I don't know what you still think you have over here. I'm cut out for this. Wait. Corpse. No, not where. Up. I don't want you touching any of this either. There, if there's a cobweb in the tree. Leave it alone. Here for nothing now. Y'all are playing with the fire. Yeah, there you go. Keep poking the nest. Let's see a corpse. 
orbs. Did just see a meme. Oh, here you are. Fighting in the water, are you? confused about our queen situation, but there doesn't appear to be anything I can do about it. Nothing else has changed. Hmm. Um, oh, just... Yeah. Perfect. Pumps. See where we're at with our pump. Yeah, see, look. Okay. So this, all good. Dip that. Um, and make all. And that will seal in our um, so we have one, we have two, we have three, four, five, we have six. We have six. We can make some more. Get us up to the powered part. And then there's all this silly awkward here. <laughs> we'll we'll deal with this. Might babysit it a tiny bit. It's smooth. No. This wet. No. it again.
least it grabbed the same person. Hopefully some of this isn't aquifer. to myself. One hundred percent aquifer. Oh, well, just ninety percent. Now it's gonna be different persons. We have to wait for them to come out. silk clothing now. Well, it makes me happy. We have 17 grumpy people. We're down to five. Created Castle Romek, Nanner Dusim, Brutile Bracelet. Okay. Baby Llama. The whole fortress up here to smooth the magma channel. I do wonder what happens if an aquifer leaks water into a standing pool of lava. That just instantly turns the entire block into obsidian. Perhaps I will look. I to look at obsidian more closely anyway. Here we go. Obsidian can be formed by mixing magma and water. Any tiles containing both Water and magma will be replaced with unmined obsidian, generating abundant amounts of steam. When dumping water via a pond zone onto magma, the water has to fall free for at least one Z level, i.e. the pond must be at least two Z levels above the magma. Otherwise, only steam will be produced. Interesting. of obsidian will not affect the light. Most non-magma safe objects that were in magma prior to the formation of object are completely destroyed. Which is what we want. Uh, which can be an effective method of removing unwanted enemies, long, although long exposure times to magma are suggested to ensure destruction. All magma safe items will be entombed in the title and can be regained by mining it. Huh. 
along with any magma unsafe items that happen to survive the cat. No instances of globs or of molten metal surviving obsidian formations have been noted. So apparently burning objects can remain on fire. The survival rate of magma unsafe items is believed to depend on the exposure time to magma being short enough to not cause the item in question to melt or burn before the obsidian formation occurs. Fragile items placed in water that is then exposed to magma tend to survive casting unscathed. Creatures cast in obsidian die, even without significant exposure to magma. That's good news. Oh. Single? Single fresh friend? You know what's gonna happen, right? all of this mood more we're trying you were trying to do something Send our squad down. We can deal with some fish. Unless you come one at a time, okay. Our new, our new barracks area is much closer to here. Like that response time. I'll show up together. Nothing else hiding out. A lot of naked mole dogs. I think we're fine. has happened to my queen my fancy throne room doesn't mean as much if the queen isn't here or has just disappeared don't go too far All of this is aquifer, I might give up on <laughs> this. This was a minor. This might be.
cool to see the whole fortress work together on the smoothing. Like a big communal job. In, in previous versions, I would have just like a couple of engravers, like dedicated engravers, do all the smoothing and all of the engraving. The smoothing gives engraving experience. So you can basically like smooth the whole fortress, and then you have some decent engravers. They start making some decent engravings right off the bat. Um, but I've been leaning more into the the way that this version does all the labors. I like this. I mean, they're all getting smooth experience instead of our engravers, but whatever. It makes things smooth real fast. Who the heck is our miner? clothing. Set up my hospital. The book thing is just going to keep. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mayor wants a battle axe. there. remember reading something about aquifer ceilings in Leek as well. Which would mean digging out above it. Which is possible. Someone different now? Oh! Oh no! Hmm, that's sad. Found dead dehydrated in the dining hall. 
You were, yeah, you had a aimed, aimed thing. You're the one who one shot a scorpion. Uh, do we have? Let's. Coffins. Oh, I didn't dig these right. Keep it up. I put doors. These are all Just slowly making a river for ourselves. Yeah. Nightmare. This is all gonna be aquifer as well. Please come from. Been in a squad anymore? Hmm. You haven't been in a squad. Interesting. And I should probably build a floor over some of these <laughs> temporarily just so I can go over and uh, move those walls. Make these out of wood. Making temporary constructions out of wood is sometimes smart because uh, it's lighter. So they can haul it there and be done with it faster. I think any of this. It does. Yeah. 
I don't want to. I don't want to have to do all this, but I also don't want to do the whole thing and then find out why I broke it because a little bit of water got in. I assume Axlord throwing a tantrum isn't good. Fish fighting a crab. Yeah. Armed craft dwarf. Right? Uh, yeah. I think you'll be fine. Uh, even still. They're just. They're just out and about down here, aren't they? You have a water skin. Got it? Yeah. Good. done for the day. Um, we made good progress, but didn't quite get all of our pump stack there, but we are getting quite close. Um, let's place some booms. become Smooth. 
Stop disturbing the fish. Oh, they're getting me. You over here. Tourist. Gonna get yourself surrounded, aren't you? Oh, killed one. Two? No. <laughs> Lots of blood splatter. Hope that's not yours. Closer to the water. You won't like what's in there. Ooh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All you have to do not get anywhere near the water. Station over here. Well. I'll try to reclaim your body, but I don't... Only four of them. There. I'm just gonna get back in the water. You down here to do what? What is so important? to call to get the corpses. None of it. Ignore it. Be rid of these fish people. Aquifers, however, are forever. I'm not going to go this far and then risk it. No, this is wet. made? Oh, and they're even on.
designate four. Can't see it's on. Only using half our power. about doing things wrong or backwards. Hello again. Dealt with all of the wetness. It said that if water doesn't fall a full level before hitting the magma, then it just becomes green. Is that? I don't know. Also leak. No. She's so vocal, but I don't think any of her sounds make it onto the mic.
we... Hello! We are definitely channeling. Uh... This is... We'll file this under the I hope this works category. We're, we're, we're working on implementing your idea. You fight fish with fire. The immediate issue that all this area that I want to send my magma through happens to be an aquifer. Because of course. Um. Seeing if I can. Seeing if I can make a. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Get a magma cistern kind of a situation going without accidentally intermingling it with too much water. Um, and we'll see how that goes. My understanding is that if I smooth a wall, then it will stop leaking, but I think we're also leaking from above. Now, I'm also mining, trying to mine out above. And all that. See if that works. Oh, and another thing that I don't understand. I no longer have a queen. She has not died. She's still here. She just isn't a queen anymore. I really don't know what that means. How that happened. At the same time that she stopped being the queen, we had another, like a visitor, a king showed up. The king, maybe? It, it didn't tell me, that's for sure. Um, but here's Olan. Her last name changed. Um, but she has all the same memories that I remember looking at. Making steel. Likes to dress well. Um... I could look at groups. These. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say former monarch or anything. Another person showed up at the same time that I noticed this. He was a king. He's the king of our civilization. But we're still the capital. So why? More tantrums. Yeah, I'm confused as to what happened, because we are still definitely the capital. Right? I was kind of expecting him to show up and talk to someone and be like, I'm I'm the king now and you need to put me in the throne room. But she, he showed up and talked to three people and then left. He just walked away. Right? Maybe? Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Um... Anyway, aquifers. Hoping this will... less water. All smooth. That. And there's even fewer of these tiles. Same. Damp. I guess. Uh. No, not mine. Hold on. Ooh. And I'll ask 
Well, that was interesting. But it's wet for a second. Hmm. Water going down the stairwell isn't so bad. That won't touch the lava. I don't want any of these. These areas don't want water. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This all got smooth. Hmm. I was hoping to get a little more progress on our on our pump stack today, but we, we made good progress. We made all our components for pumps. Um, we have all our space dug out. Um, this is our this is where the pumps are going to go. And we have started building the pumps themselves. We've gotten yeah. See, we're we're getting there. See, if you designate them, they'll build as if the bottom ones were there. But yeah, uh, we we have a big axle coming over and power them from our from our other power area. Um, powering pumps, and then we've built down, or maybe a quarter of the way to building them. Um, and then here's the magma, so this is connected to it, and let magma in here, and then it'll. Okay. Um, I'm say I'm about done for the day. Uh, went a little long anyway. Of course, now she settles in the spot. Little beast. Um. But yeah, we are we are on the path to magma. So many corpses. Um, our class is doing good now that we don't have a monarch anymore. Question mark. Um. Two. to where they've already built floor. But in theory, we have, have some. We'll keep working on that. I... Things just going missing. I don't know. She's like, she's not assigned to this bedroom. There's just no one assigned to, the, to the, these quarters anymore. No one's... She's definitely not dead. And oh, we have so much stuff growing in here. Muddy dead young goblin. Um, oh, and I was digging these as well. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Now we have space for wells. Can you find random blood splashes for or blam search plants? Yeah. Blood gets around. Um, it's off by default, but if you turn it on, you can actually have dwarves like track 
stuff around and like mud will just get tracked all over your fortress and blood and stuff. It's real cool. Uh, let's do in. Yes, it is. Yeah. For marble. for our um but yeah let's see our squads are still at full strength but we have still lost a couple today we're all wearing two boots though big thing well well we're all training Okay, I'm quite perplexed about our monarch situation. Everything would be going great except for the the monarch and the <laughs> aqua for nonsense. Those are the main things on my mind right now. I'll keep plugging away at this. Slowly making indoor rivers. Too much water. Okay, well, this is going to carry on for a little while. Um, so we'll call it there. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, peace. Hello. Um, yeah, thanks for, for hanging out. I know that we, we mostly got pretty good. <laughs> we made some progress. Um, I will continue on that uh, pump stack. Pump stack we can probably complete next time, and then if we can figure out the aquifer situation, or if I can figure out the safest way to do that and not blow ourselves up with steam, I guess, um, that'll be good. Um, and then hopefully next time we'll be able to drop some magma on the fish people. That's my plan. Um, Tune in on Saturday for Elden Ring Randomizer Speed Run. We'll most likely complete that run as well. And then next week, we'll, we'll, on Monday, we will continue more Fortress stuff. Uh, fish stuff. Um, I'm really curious how that's going to work out. Uh, apparently, if something isn't in magma for too long before it turns into obsidian, it just, like, it doesn't fully destroy it. You just have, like, stuff encased in obsidian, so... We might just end up with like fish fossil medium thing. It is it will not be too unironic that we will have giant dead fish things in our maybe that's maybe that's the proper thing for Elder Ring. Um <laughs> Yeah. Darkest health fish sticks. Yep. The metalest fish sticks you've ever seen. Dwarven fish sticks. That's really what it is. Um yeah, uh, so that will continue. Ch tune in on Monday if you want to see some Dwarven Fish Sticks. Uh, and on Saturday if you want to see other things. <laughs> um, Elden Ring things. Uh, subscribe, follow, whatever. If you want to see updates. Um, I'm trying to post on Mastodon when I post the VODs. Follow on there if you want to get updates for when I post them. Um, other than that, yeah. Uh, be, be well. Yeah. Have a good one.